there's a little lad across the road plays in the from the chip shop and he plays in the chip shop before it opens every night just does 15 minutes and uh, Graham heard him the other night when he was in the barbers next door and uh, nobody knew what it was but Graham realised straight away because of course he's here every Saturday morning This is one of our first rehearsals, getting ready for the Whip Friday March contest in early June. Uh, we're some way away yet, but uh, of course you've got to put our mind to it. It's a very busy time. It's predominantly a youth band, but of course we have one or two adults in to support that process and, and to help the younger ones come on. We work very hard together, so there's a lot of intense relationships. Everybody's very close, and, and so there's a lot of sort of mickey-taking and rapport amongst them. And then there's, there's some of the older, more uh, senior members of the band that like to put their... Uh, their versions of history, they've been there, they've done it, and they want to put across the importance of this for the young people. You st I still get a lot of people, as soon as you say scout band, they think of drums and bugles, which there's nothing wrong with. There's some fantastic scout bands in Britain, drums and bugles, but it's just because this one's slightly different, that it's a full, complete, North of England brass band, and there isn't another one in the country. In fact, I'd be pushed to say I don't think there's another one in the world. Ready? There are some strong family links in this band. Three generations in the, the case of one family. I've got Jack and Sophie sat next to me and Chris, but it's like a big family, like we're all friends and everything. It's just something I've grown up with, I've never left. I, I joined here in this very room. Virtually where I'm sat now is the very first place I ever stood when I came to Scouts when I was 10. If I wasn't part of it, then I probably wouldn't understand why people saw in it. Even though it does seem slightly weird and it doesn't really fit in with modern day or whatever you want to think about. Let's go, you're right. We're wasting time, Chris. Whit Friday coming soon, man. Soon. Sooner than you think. Better, better. And people that have seen sort of films around the sort of the hit film Brassed Off and things like that will have seen the sort of uh, the tradition behind competing at it and wanting to compete and see how you get on against the rest of the band. Whit Friday, for anybody, if they've not seen it or been a part of it, uh, it's really something out of this world. But also just to experience the buzz of the night and the thousands and thousands of people that are up in the area is a tremendous thrill to be part of something like that. They call it the greatest free show on earth. Mm -hmm.